doing our acclimatization for the World Cup and uh, getting ready for the start. High in the mountains of Ecuador, team peak performance were preparing for a grueling adventure. What none of them knew is that they'd pick up another teammate along the way. They met him somewhere in the Amazon, ragged and hungry. They gave him a meatball and shooed him away. But the dog had other ideas. As they continued their 440-mile race, he never left their side. He defined the word dogged. Struck by his fearlessness, they named him after King Arthur. On the kayak stage, he swam alongside his new teammates until they lifted him onto the boat. Where they slept, he slept. And when they finally reached the finish line two days later, Arthur was with them. He was a street dog, and I think um, to just follow us on this adventure it was like, I think he was thinking that, OK, this is my chance. These guys have been kind to me, and that means something. I, I go with these guys. Next stop, the vet, for probably the first time in his life, and for the team, the realisation that they couldn't leave him behind. By now, his fame had spread, and he arrived in Sweden to a hero's welcome. The South American stray who'd won his teammates' hearts and travelled 6,000 miles to find a home. Richard Lister, BBC News.